hello everybody and welcome to this breakwaters video where i am going to be telling you guys about all the food items available in the breakwaters closed beta i'm going to show you guys all the different food items and i'm going to be showing you guys what those different items do for you when prepared or on its own now please keep in mind this is closed beta so anything shown in this video might change at some given point if that is the case then i will make an updated video later down the line now some of these recipes that we're going to be making in the video they require a cooking bench so you do need to have access to the second island to make some of the recipes and to find some of the items but some of the food items can also be obtained on the first island where you start your adventure and i will tell you guys which ones those are in the future i will also be making a video about how to find all these specific items but for now we're just going to be focusing on what are the items and how can we use them? What will they give us? So here are some of the food items that we have in the game right now. We have the glowing mushroom coral. We have berries. We have a couple of coconuts. We have eggs, chicken eggs to be more precise. We have raw mussels. We have raw meat. We have salmon. We have mushroom coral. And oyster mushroom and red sea anemone these are all the food items currently in the game and some of these like the red meat the red sea anemone the mussels coconut and the berries and the mushroom coral can all be found on the first island now the eggs can be found on the first island but you can't actually use them yet you're gonna need the cooking bench for those salmon can also be found on the first island it will also require a cooking bench as you can see on the video, to make some of the more basic foods in the game, you just need a fire pit or a cooking station. You can put some logs in it, some fuel. And you can put all the items with a light gray background into the food slots on the left there. Either by dragging them or by right clicking on the item in your inventory. You can only place one food item at a time in each slot. And depending on if you have a fire pit cooking station or the more upgraded one that's going to be released in the future. You can only have one, four or six food items cooking at the same time. But the food items that you can cook in it right now is the raw meat, the mussels, the red sea anemone and the mushroom coral now let's look at some of the stats for these cooked foods we have the mushroom coral cooked gives 10 hunger we have the cooked meat which is also plus 10 hunger the cooked muscle will give you plus 5 hydration and the red sea anemone cooked will also give you plus 10 hunger now let's get into some of the more advanced foods which will either give you more hunger points more hydration points or more health points for all these more advanced recipes you're going to need the cooking bench to prepare the food and once the food is prepared by crafting it then you can actually cook it on the cooking station so here are the recipes we start off with some raw meat and mushrooms which is going to give you 15 hunger points then we have raw meat and eggs which is going to give you 20 hunger points that's a pretty big upgrade and then next we have raw meat and fish which will give a total of 25 hunger points now as you can see by the little slot on the fish there all the recipes also the raw meat and eggs and the ones underneath it will be locked when you first start playing the game the only ones that will be unlocked are the first ones in the row so you have to first create the raw meat and mushrooms then the raw meat and eggs and then the raw meat and fish to unlock those. Now next up for the hydration is the raw oyster mushroom and mussels. Which will give you a total of 15 hydration points. Then we have the raw anemone with mussels which will give you a total of 20 hydration points. And then next up we have the raw anemone and coral mushroom which will give you a total of 25 hydration points. And then we also have a health item in there the raw glowing mushroom coral which will give a total of plus 25 health points. As I said earlier, after preparing the food, you can put it into the cooking station, wait for it to be cooked, and then it will actually be edible. Here you have the cooked meat fish, which will give 25 hunger. You have the cooked mussel and anemone for 20 hydration. The cooked meat and eggs with plus 20 hunger. Cooked oyster, mushroom and mussel plus 15 hydration 
cooked sea anemone and coral mushroom plus 25 hydration and the cooked meat and mushroom plus 15 hunger and now once you've made all that you can sit down look into the ocean and enjoy a meal also eating while sitting on the picnic table will give you extra health as well so if you eat a hunger item or a hydration item on the picnic table you will get additional health as well which is really really useful so that is all the food items currently in the game again if anything changes in a future update i will cover that as well in a new video and i will make a video in the future for how to find all of these items thank you guys so much for watching if this was helpful to you then please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to see more of these breakwaters tips and tricks or if you are interested in the live streams that i'm doing on the channel and please subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitch. Links for those will be in the description. As well as the Discord link for Breakwaters itself. And the Steam page for Breakwaters. So go ahead and wishlist it if you haven't. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time.